everybody, welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammy, and welcome back to my homestead. You guys, it is that time of the year again. It's time to get those seeds out. It's time to get your planter out. It's time to figure out what you want to plant into your garden this year. For some of us, we plant the same thing every year. But for me this year, I plan on trying to plant some different things. Uh, last year, I put up a whole lot of sweet relish and pickles and stuff like that. So this year, I'm hopefully not to have that many cucumbers, even though I love fresh cucumbers. Here, you see a variety of seeds here from a variety of places. And also, I have a variety of potting, uh, potting mix. Uh, so you want uh, to use potting mix when you're starting your seeds. You don't want to use like potting, you know, uh, flower pot soil and stuff like that. You want something other that the seeds don't have a problem pushing through that soil. You also want it to, that this potting mix that has perlite into it, which helps, you know, keep it moist and not to dry out. So here I have a variety of potting mix. I have miracle Growth, Jiffy, Burby, and some from the Dollar Tree. All is good. Um, the Dollar Tree doesn't have the fertilizer into it, but the idea that I came up with, you know, you can kind of, you got like on the Miracle Grove over there, I got a little bit left. I'm going to mix that ones or the ones or bags that's coming, that came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to mix that in there, and I think it's going to do just wonderful. Or even take the ones from the Dollar Tree and just mix it all up. So, I have a variety of seeds here. I have seeds from Haas Tools. I have seeds from Cami's Garden. Seeds from last year and, and years before. I have seeds from Walmart. I have seeds from Burby. I have, I have seeds from my local hardware seed store. I have seeds from Walmart. I have seeds from the Dollar Tree. So I needed to lay my seeds out and kind of and kind of plan what I wanted to plant. And when I looked at all these seeds, I just want to plant everything. But you know, there's not, it's not advisable to plant just everything. You want to get a plan. You want to get a vision. You want to get a, a dream garden going on. So I had to sit down and really think about it. And uh, I'm going to do things just a little bit different this year. But I would advise you to go ahead and get your seeds. My local seed hardware store informed me that they said it was going to be a seed shortage this year from the place they get their seeds from. So that's why I started, whenever I was at, picking up seeds, which I already had seeds. And I had to lay them out. I wanted to lay them out for the fact I could see what I actually got. Because I found out I started buying the same thing over, which is not a loss because seeds don't, they last for a long time for years. So, but I did find out I was buying the same seeds for Haas Tools. So, you know, you want to know exactly what your plan is. And what you what your plan is for your dream garden and so now that I see what I got going on here I drag this baby out right here because I'm gonna get more organized so I can just kind of glance through here and see what I had I thought my plan before was great I got my jars I used to put my seeds into that keeps the rats or mice and possibly getting in there and eating my seeds up and this container right here is going to make it more organized. So I can kind of, I'm going to put these vegetable seeds and um, I got flower seeds. I got uh, spice seeds here. And I'm going to kind of organize it so that I can glance through there and see what I got. See if I need to buy some. Because when I glanced through here, I was like, whoa, I thought, you know, I know I got my own cucumber seeds. But, and I got some seeds that I pick up from the Dollar Tree, which there's nothing wrong with those seeds. They're like four for a dollar. You just want seeds. I've grown them. My mother's grown them. Never had a problem with them. So I want to make me a list of what kind of seeds I got in this container here. Or in, you know, just a list of seeds and how many packs and basically the quantity I think it might be, whether it's one fourth or half a pound of seeds. So guys, it is seed planting time. So let's take a look at some of my seeds. So we see a variety of potting mix, a seed starting potting mix. 
There's a Dollar Tree bags. We see seeds that's in mason jars, flower seeds, fruit tree seeds, okra, butter beans, cotton seeds. Yay, you just don't know. Then we got seeds over here. Uh, some of mine uh, from my garden, gardens. Uh, let's see, what are they? Uh, sweet peas. You see hostels, burby, my local hardware seed, uh, very more deal. There's also stream beans. Oh gosh, it's, uh, uh, peas back there in that yellow that's got a yellow lid on it. That's some seeds in a containers in a container, and that's seeds from my garden. I like using the jars because I don't have to worry about my seeds. I also, some of those mason jars I had vacuum sealed. And then we'll see all the variety of seeds. Spring, peppers, just a variety. Summer and fall. I planted some carrot seeds out there. Um, I also had some potatoes that have been in the ground since December. I just want to see, you know, see how they would do in my area. Just curious. And uh, some of the potatoes did rotten because we've had so much rain in the last couple of weeks. Sunflower seeds. So back here in the back, you will see a seed starting tray. This tray came from Haas Tools, 162 cell, very durable. I dropped it in one of those in my video I made. And y'all, it did not break or anything. It, I mean, it's, you can jump on it, and I don't think it'll break. I meant to bring one in that well, I got from Lowe's, and if you drop that, it'll probably crumble all the pieces. It's good to get you through one season. There's nothing wrong with that. These are a little pricey, 162 cells, but they are just well worth it. Also, it's got the the tray that holds the water, and uh, so you don't have to worry about water getting all over the place. Also, it's these uh, cells are built so that your plants will not get root bound. So I also have my seeds planted right here, and uh, I planted some hostile summer uh, summer picks, tomatoes. I got 17 plants, so on to my little white. Uh, tabs there. I have what I planted, the date I planted it because I'll be transplanting some of those and then I'll write the transplant date and, uh, and then in the garden I'll put the garden date. And then I have a Hungarian yellow wax Spanish peppers. No seeds came from the Dollar Tree. I also have um, green bell peppers that came from my garden last year. I have straight neck cucumbers, which I have some from um, my garden last year, but I decided to use the Burby straight neck uh, cucumbers this year. And then the, the tabs in the middle that doesn't have anything wrote right onto it, I've just put it there to let me, know, let me know that I have space there for the plants to grow. 162 cells, um, that's, that's a lot of growing there. I can use these in the future, so I'm looking forward to that. I have straight neck squash uh, planted that came from my garden. And the jars in the back are just where the seeds I have from my garden. And then I planted zucchini summer squash. So that's what I got planted right now. I also planted those carrots out there, carrot seeds. I want to go back and plant some more. I decided I want to plant some more. I had a very good harvest this year, and I'm so excited about it. So let's take a look at something else. Okay, so back here, I had a natural organic sea starting mix. You just want to get some type of sea starting mix for your trays. Um, I also have my, this is something I look at every year, don't matter what I think I know. I look at this chart right here as a vegetable planting guide. I get from my local seed uh, company, uh, seed, excuse me, a hardware and seed store. And uh, it has on there everything you could think of cabbage, you know, your fall garden, your spring garden, your summer garden, and you can look on there. It gives you the, actually the planting days it would take for these uh, vegetables and which seeds to uh, 
grow to maturity. So this is a wonderful, wonderful thing to have. I put it into a sleeve here. I had one that I had for years, one of these charts, and that's what I, like I said, I look at this, but I decided to put it in this, into a sleeve. I also took and put this on my refrigerator because I don't have to go hunt for it. I can just take a look at it. So here, like I said, I got my, my, my seeds all planted out now. I'm fixing to put some water in there. Uh, another good thing that I got from Hostels, they would give it to me as a gift. And this is your seed, uh, starting seed book. It's the book that you can look in. You want to know, you know, how to plant, you know, and this is a very excellent book. You want to really plant your own seeds because you want to know when they're planted and, uh, you know, what soil they're going into, what's going into the soil and what's been sprayed onto them. It saves you time. It actually saves you money. So this is a very good book. If you just start out garden, you want to learn about your seed. Starting seeds. Grow your own food. This is a self-reliance book. So another thing I have purchased also that's up under this tray right here from Haas Tools. And this is a heat map. So since it's February, you know, the weather is kind of, here on the East Coast, it's kind of crazy. But it's cold, it's kind of really warm, it's freezing, it's, it does all kinds of things. So I have purchased a heat map that this tray is going to go up on here or go on top of, should I say. And I love this because you want your you want your seeds to go ahead and start germinating. That's the whole point of planting them early so you can get them and transplant them and get them in your garden. So this is a heat map. It's, I got it from Amazon. It's 48 by 20. And uh, it has it's a temperature uh, control uh, digital LCD uh, control and it's, it's a really it's a heat map and it's digital it's thermostat combo so you want to get your seeds uh, you know it helps your seeds roots the seeds itself so they'll go ahead and start germinating well, guys I'm so excited about this yeah check out Haas tools I purchased the pounders this time. I'm not playing around with little packs. I'm starting to go big. So if you need some seeds, uh, go to hostools.com. You can get your seeds. If you're at Walmart, check out Burby. You can get the, oops, you can get bigger, bigger seeds. These are here. These are sugar snaps, and these are stringless green pods. So I'm looking forward to planting this. My cousin is going to plant everything. Uh, also. You want to make sure that you get your flower seeds this year. Now, I got seeds from my other plants. I try to save my seeds, but I also end up picking up seeds because even though I got some of these zenas here and I got marigolds from my seeds, so that's the thing. If you get your seeds, then you can start getting your own seeds. It saves you time. It saves you money. So these, I want to get put them into another tray and get my seeds going. And mostly these zinnias and these marigolds, you don't have to have a tray. You can go get your little container uh, and put your potting mix in there, potting, you know, it, starting mix in there. You, I've also used just the soil that you put into your uh, hanging baskets. I, that's always worked good with these two brands right here, the zinnias and the marigolds. They are, they're very um, hardy. And you just pretty much basically keep the water to them and they'll spring up. They're easy to plant. I just sprinkle them into my potting, um, whatever I'm going to have it in. I sprinkle it on there. I put a little soil onto it. I add some water. And they pretty much, I don't even really have to worry about these two types of seeds here. They just take off, you know, the weather outside or water them. If it gets dry, I'll throw some water. If I see them start coming up, I'll throw some water to them, keep them watered, and they just and throw some fertilizer to them. It's a miracle growth, and they just take off, and they were so beautiful last year. I'm going definitely going to plant them again. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If I can get in this video, thank you so much for watching. And if you learned anything from this video, give me a thumbs up. That helps me to get out there where these videos are being seen. Uh, if not, it kind of keeps me in a category. Hit that subscribe button so you'll know when I'm loading up a video. And guys, I got some things I want to uh, do in this season that's coming up. It is uh, 2021, a, a year of agendas. So 
we should get our own agendas at home. Okay, guys, thank you so much. And remember to make it a great day. Get to planting. Get your seed. Get your garden going. Because it's nutritious. It's healthy. It saves you time. It saves you money. So I, got, I can go to the grocery store and get it cheaper than that or less time. But you, you, once you grow your own food and you start eating that food, you're like, man, this is good. I ate some of my carrots the other day. I was like, wow, this is so good that I'm, I'm out. I'm going to plant some more. I've already got them planted. I'm going to plant some more. I'm going to can some more. And so I'm looking forward to that. All right, guys, get to planting. Get your seeds and make it a great day. God bless you.